let me be very clear about something as a follow-up to my last video. Okay, I think Islam is the worst religion. I, I, as far as ones that are organized and are popular, right? I think Islam is the worst religion. It has the most potential to do the most damage. It's also a fairly, fairly new religion in contrast to many of the other old religions. Um, it contains a lot of bullshit. It does. And I'll have to, you know, I'll have to take back the thumbnail that I made for the other video, which I may create a new thumbnail for it, just so it doesn't even have that connotation in it anymore. Um, where that thumbnail I was saying, you know, oh, out of the Abrahamic religions, you know, I, sh I shouldn't have said that. Um, I guess I didn't give it much thought or whatnot, but I shouldn't have said that. Um, you know, one thing's for damn sure, I would very, very, very much prefer having Christians in our government, you know, trying to, you know, push forth some of their views than having uh, Muslims in the government trying to push forth their views. Um, I'd rather not have religion make its way in the government at all. But if I had to have a choice between Christians or, or Muslims, yeah, I'll, I'll choose Christians. Yes, absolutely, uh, hands down, without a doubt. Okay. The reason I don't worry about Muslims in this country is because their numbers are, are, are low. Their numbers are tiny. If that started to change, yes, I'd start showing concern. But in this country, in the United States, I don't I, I just don't see them as a concern. There may be places in Europe where people might have to worry about it. I don't know. I, I'm not there. I haven't personally seen some of this stuff and I see I see viewpoints from both sides. I people see pe see people saying, well, it, yeah, well yeah, sometimes there's some sections of town that seem Muslim, but there's no there's no uh, uh, no go zones. There's no they don't describe anything like that. And then we've got out the other side that that are every time uh, the Seven Hundred Club comes out with some sort of video, they're like, uh, uh, see, see, look, this is what Muslims are like. Look, look, look what they're doing. Look, there's no go zones. There's all this, and it's just like, who do you believe? You know, there's so much conflicting information on that stuff. You know, I'm just, I, I just, I take the stance of, okay, there could be this sort of thing going on in Europe. I don't know in parts of Europe. I don't know. There could be, and that's the way that I, that I just, any time something comes out, well, it could be. You know, but here I live here, and I've been to different parts of the country, and I've seen, you know, the, I've generally seen kind of the numbers and. Muslims are a tiny, tiny minority here. They are 0.9% of the population. They're, they're not something to worry about here, you know? And, and the ones that are here are peaceful, you know? 99.99% of them are peaceful. So why, why should I worry about them, you know? What I'm going to worry about are is how much religious, no matter what the religion is, how much religious, uh, how much religion is going to make its way into the government. I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather there be none. But if there is going to be some that makes its way into the government, I would prefer Christianity over over Islam. You know, I'll take I'll take uh, Judaism over Islam. I'll take, you know, I'll certainly take uh, some a lot of the other. Uh, religions that aren't even Abrahamic, I'll, I'll take some of them over Islam as well. Um, you know, I... Some people act like I am I do apologetics for Islam. Well, some of why... Like, another reason why I will sometimes do apologetics, besides the fact that they may make such a small percentage of the population, is that I don't usually see them... Um, preaching to people about the way that they should live. They live their, their way. There, there are exceptions, just like you got street preachers, you know. Uh, but most of them don't 
try to in, try to cram their religion down anyone's throats other than their appearance. They want it known in their appearance. They want someone to be able to look at them and say, that person is Muslim. Okay, they, they want that very, very strongly. And they fight for their right to be able to be that way, including in the workplace. And that upsets people. And when I usually see people complaining, let's say Christians complaining about uh, things related to the workplace, it has to do with them having being treated poorly because they state they state their religious views in the workplace and I'm like well don't state your religious views in the workplace you can state that you happen to be a, a particular religion fine but you don't need to be prophesizing uh, to people you know and you don't need to be telling them well you know I I think this is wrong because my religion says this. Well, that's you don't need to be saying that. If, if a Muslim was doing the same thing, you should be you should, you know, they should be chastised as well. You just keep that keep keep divisive shit out of the workplace. You know? And if you say something that could be divisive like that, ex expect there to be some sort of backlash even if it's just people not treating you that great anymore. You know? Um but I'm, I'm finding it I, I, the reason why I'm even going into some of this is because I, I see all these articles talking about how Republicans are just being treated you know it's it, the way they're, they're treated in, in the workplace and I'm just and, and, and it's always in the article they say because I have my views and I'm like they won't let me they won't let me state my views and I'm just going well no you if you if your views are divisive if your views are something that exclude either is exclusionary or it's it labels an entire group negatively a group that may exist in your workplace yeah that's that's not going to be looked at positively it, it, it why can't you leave that out of the workplace how can you claim that you're a victim because you've stated something that that makes a bunch of people uncomfortable you probably know it makes people feel uncomfortable if you don't it, figure it out you know now I, I I think the same thing about uh there there are there are some types of views that are on the left where they'll they'll declare you need to believe this and if you don't believe this you're a bigot Le leave that shit out of the workplace too you know don't be don't be making these declarations and saying you have to agree or you're a bigot no fuck you that's just as bad that's the same shit you know you can't you can't do that and then claim you're a victim when people treat you poorly for that it's it's the same thing um <clears throat> so i don't know um i guess i don't know where i'm going with this video but uh I want to make it clear. No, I, I, I don't, I don't give Islam a pass on their beliefs. I only, the only reason why I give them a pass is because they have such a small percentage of the population. You know, and you know, I, I, and let me make it clear too. You know, I've also seen them do some crazy things on college campuses. Up, up! There was a in this presentation. There was a picture of a of a. a you, there was a guy's crotch. Someone in underwear. Oh, oh! We're so angry. We're gonna get upset. Yeah, fuck you. Get the fuck out of out of the. If you're gonna get that upset over or something like that, get that shit out of my face. Get your get your outrage out of my face. Just leave. If you don't like the presentation, leave. Okay. So let me make that clear. There, they're they're you know. <laughs> I'm not saying that uh, all the Muslims here are, they're all peaceful, that's all, you know, there's some that make a big deal out of that kind, out of, out of stupid shit. I wish I could remember the presentation that it was. I'm sure if, if you look it up, you'll probably find it. Presentation at college, Muslim outrage. You know. Um, <clears throat> so, I just want to try to cover as many bases as I can, because it's, it's hard if you, if you forget to mention something, you know, people will say, "Well, you're you're just 
you're just really biased and you're not thinking about it and I'm trying to think about all the sides. Um, so anyway, 